Hey, I'm Sag in the Bag and I'll show you how to do a quick tutorial on rounding corners in Illustrator. Now I've got two methods to show you, so stick in there and hopefully it can help you out. First method, hit your rectangle tool, draw a rectangle or a square, which whatever your preference is, select it, hit effect, stylize and round corners. Put in about 50 pixels and hit preview. Voila, you've got your rounded corners like so. The problem with this is if you don't know anything about a pie, it can be really hard to get the radius and it can be quite tedious, so you, I'll explain what I mean. So you've got 50 pixels, you might go, oh, it's too much, I don't want 50 pixels. Maybe I need 20 pixels. You hit 20 pixels, oh, it's still not enough. Oh, okay, I'll do 30 pixels. Still not right. You can do this over and over and over and over again, and it's just wasting time. And if you've got a deadline, you, you, can't, you can't do that. What's even worse in Illustrator with rounding corners, if you just want to, uh, if you just want to round this one corner, I'll get it out eventually, if we select just this one corner, we hit Effect, Stylize, and Round Corners. Once again, we'll hit 50 pixels and we hit Preview. It applies it to the whole shape, which is a real nuisance. If you want to just apply it to one corner, you have to cut the corners. So we have to cut this corner here, we have to cut this corner here, and essentially makes two, two shapes. And then we select this corner here, we hit Effect, Stylize, and Round Corners. Once again, 50 pixels and it will apply it to that one corner. But then you've got to rejoin these corners here to make it a shape again. It's a real pain and it just takes up too much time. What I really recommend is you go to the webs, the interwebs, and you get Vector Scribe by Astute Graphics. Totally worth it, it'll save you a buttload of time. It only costs, I don't know, is it 49 pound plus a VAT or something? I don't know, a backwards E, $59 E, Yen, I don't, I don't know what that is, someone will tell me. Or just $81, I don't know if that's American or Australian, I don't know, there's an asterisk, I'm sure there's some sort of thing, I don't know. But there's a trial as well, so give it a shot, you'll see what I mean. So, what you do is you install it, and then you just prepare your angus, because this is gonna be amazing, what I'm about to show you. Draw your rectangle or your square, we'll go rectangle again. And once you've installed it, you get these new little buttons here. We wanna click on this button here, it's called the Dynamic Corners tool, click that. Then on your shape, click your corner and drag. Oh yeah, we've got rounded corners that we can easily adjust by just dragging. I can see what you're saying. Oh my God, how have I done this? How have I gone this long doing all my work without this tool? I don't know either. I said the same thing once I discovered it, but it's fantastic. You can also move your corners as well by alt clicking. So that's it. Um, there's not much more to it than just going out and spending the money or even just giving the trial a go and see how you go. But honestly, it's 100% worth it. It'll improve your workflow just uh, heaps. Trust me, it's just worth it. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, I hope I helped out someone in there. If you guys need help with anything in Illustrator at all, by all means, leave a comment and I'll get around to it and I'll show you how to do what you want to do. And we'll go from there. So you know the drill. Like, subscribe down below. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Bye.